Inakata. Inakata. Yeah. Yeah, Jemu. Call me Jemu. Jemu. We can call you Jemu. <laughs> we have so many questions about you as a person mm-hmm. and the experiences. Even off air, she's just amazing. Right. Like we've been telling stories of her stories. And like, Aww. Sage, we have to. Can you keep quiet? I We're trying to get stop. back. <laughs> yeah. But we I like. Can never stop. You can never stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to talk a little bit about the evolution of your music and how you started out. And yeah. uh, the first collab you did, and I was like, Uni Demuetu, by the way, is the one with Octo. Right. Uh, yeah, I was yeah, not yours before. Yeah, but 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 <laughs> Dumbala was such a such a fix. Yeah. And we love, love, loved it. But later on you, you came into a niche that is R and B more yeah. intimate music that you gave us. And people started asking us, Where is Sage? Where is Sage? So the evolution of it has been if you want to find Sage, you must have been a Sage fan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about that. Well, um, to begin with, right um before before the Octo collabo, I wasn't mainstream initially. I started with doing a lot of live shows. Mm-hmm. Um, I played for a couple of bands. I played for Muzoni, the drama queen, for three years. I was her keyboardist and her backup vocalist. Mm-hmm. I played in a rock band, a country rock band, because it's called uh, Ministry of Love. Mm-hmm. We even did an album. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's, Is it's this really nice. Online, yeah. we can Can't find it. We can find, find it. it. I, I think you can find it online. <laughs> okay. Um, I started my own rock band called The Tortu. What mm? does that mean? Uh, the Tortoise. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Le Tortu. Le Tortu. Um, I was in a band called The Jazz Girls. I was a uh, guitarist. <laughs> don't ask me i was exploring <laughs> no i love that you were like you know what i'm gonna play the guitar i'm gonna play the keyboard i'm going to sing i'm, I'm starting the band i'm a band lead you know i can do anything I mean, and everything so i i did that so initially when i left high school i wanted to study classical music and be an orchestra conductor God. oh nice my story is very weird it's a and good then dream I, though I, I met my producer and uh like he's been my producer ever since but like yeah i did a lot of different bands and different live shows so i already had my sort of like mini fan base mm-hmm. by the time i was dropping so alive so but the thing with so alive is because of octo's feature i think especially um it sort of took carried me into the mainstream yeah mm-hmm. right so and then af- right after that dropped dumbala with mm-hmm. j a so now people are like this girl she is a mm-hmm. pop yeah star she is in like she's she's inside pop mm-hmm. and like after that um i think the next year i had my daughter but like i was um in studio doing my first album expose yourself which was very much r&b soul mm-hmm. neo soul vibes so i dropped that my fans showed up for my album launch and it was really nice so i've been dropping music ever since mm-hmm. But people are like, where is she? Where, are you? where, are where you? can we where find are you? you? Where, where are you? Are you? you where know what's the interesting thing? There's half like from my even just me looking at the internet, right? Mm-hmm. Now, Hongo, one half is where is Sage? Where is Sage? Where is Sage? And then I know there is the diehards who know exactly where, where she is, you? what she's doing, <laughs> where she's, what music is coming out. You know, yeah. so it's, it's so like because yeah, there's people who are like, oh my god, when you drop Jungle Trap, and then there are people who are like, we missed you from so alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, there's this one say I was at this restaurant and this guy comes up to me and he's like uh, i think so it was around uh, 2019 he comes up to me and he's like eh napenda hiyo nyimbo yako mpya hiyo so alive i'm uh, like, yeah. hey, <laughs> like i'm like it's been a minute <laughs> <laughs> like, but do you ever feel like um so do you, i don't know is there a part of you that feels like oh my gosh maybe i left some of my fans behind when you know i went back to uh my r&b like niche and things like that Ooh, so the th- the scary thing about reinventing yourself in the music industry is that yeah you're going to lose some fans but you're also going to gain some fans and Mm -hmm. i think it's not the musician's responsibility to 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 stay stuck Mm -hmm. just to make people happy because sometimes you'll do that and and you miss the growth you miss that that the the opportunity for growth Mm -hmm. and i think it's important for creatives to to also sometimes mess up fumble people a little bit Mm -hmm. sometimes Mm -hmm. just fumble fumble them a little bit and then come back and see because I feel like um, being authentic means you have to do what you like, w- what what the vibe is at the at that point. That's the time when you can be the most authentic, mm-hmm. and most authentic connects. Mm-hmm. And I think that's for music, it's for connection. Mm-hmm. If if they're not making a connection, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we would like to see uh, <laughs> you this weekend, and of course, there's an yes. event that you'll be performing at. And yeah. guess what? If you're a morning fix person, guess what? We're gonna be giving you tickets, so you better stand by and go go read about Sage. Go 